everyone and welcome to my beautiful Halloween. I'm going to show you how to turn into one of Disney's most evil baddies, Cruella DeVille. This is my rendition of Cruella if she were in a comic book, so I made her in pop art. So glamorous in her signature colors. Now let's jump into the tutorial. I'm going to first prime using a hydrating primer and I'm really going to work this primer into my skin. And for this look, I blocked out my brows with a washable glue stick. Here I'm airbrushing my foundation using a shade that is close to my skin tone. Now I'm going to be using a high coverage concealer to smooth under my eyes and add coverage. Using a translucent powder, I'm going to set my face in specific areas to make my face look thinner, and I'm going to let that bake for a few minutes, then dust it away. Now I'm using a medium contour shade to chisel out my face for some bone structure. I'm contouring the cheekbones, temples, and my nose. I'm now going to add pink blush to the cheeks. Now use a champagne highlighter to glow up the skin. Here I'm using a brow pencil to create a really overly arched and mean looking brow shape. For more thickness, I'm gonna go in with a brow powder. With the forest green eyeshadow, I'm gonna blend this color onto the lid and into the crease. white face powder to exaggerate the brow bone, so I'm just going to go ahead and pack that on. Going into a lime green eyeshadow, I'm going to blend into the top of the crease and wing out the shape. Apply a black smudgy eyeliner into your waterline, and then pick up a vibrant metallic green eyeshadow and blend all over the lid and lower lash line. To deepen up the look, I'm using a black eyeshadow, and I'm going to go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line and outer corners of my eye. Highlight the inner corners of the eye using a gold eyeshadow. Using a matte green shadow, add additional color into the crease. This will mattify some of those metallic greens. I'm now applying a glitter primer, and I'm dabbing on some green glitter on top. I started by packing and then just went in with the big brush to glitter up the eyes. With the green liquid eyeliner, I'm going to wing out both of my eyes. Here I'm using a black liquid liner to outline the whole wing for a pop art feel. Now, apply black mascara and dramatic false lashes. I'm going to apply a fiery red lipstick and fill in my lips. Now you can outline the lips just like we did before with the eyeliner. Using a white body paint, I'm going to create some highlights on the lips. I'm using a black liquid liner to create some details around the lips and the nose. I'm also going to draw in some face details as well. For a thicker line, I'm using a black body paint to line out the jaw and the cheeks. I'm going to smudge down the details using a fluffy brush and no product. Now I'm going to add some white dots using the back of my brush and white body paint, and this will give us even more of that pop art look. Using a liquid liner, I'm going to add some black dots around the face for a little more texture and dimension. I'm using a black body paint to detail the body, so I'm going to go ahead and define the collarbones, shoulders, and chest. Little details here and there that will make us look like a pop art character. I'm using a black liquid eyeliner to fill in my brows and darken them up. With the fluffy brush, I'm going to now smudge down those body details. Now pop on a split wig and a choker and get more into character. 
As a final step, I'm using a champagne highlighter to add glow to the face and the body. This is the final Cruella de Vil Halloween makeup tutorial. I hope you loved it, and if you did, be sure you like this video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you all for tuning in to my beautiful Halloween, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>